Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate you gentlemen and your testimony today and um, about how we treat our enemy combatants, especially on the battlefield. But I have a little bit of a different tack that I'd like to ask you about today because this deals with a situation that's occurring in my home state in Oklahoma, and it deals with our American soldiers and how they are treated on the battlefield and their rights in, in the military court system. And since both of you are with the legal system, I, I would just like to uh, tell you about a situation, ask your opinion, and then hopefully leave you with some information and ask you specifically if you will look into this situation for me as a member of Congress. And let me, let me just start out. Um, I heard uh, Mr. Forbes asking uh, Mr. Johnson about uh, the goals of the administration in relation to detainees and their rights, and I, I think you said that, that uh, the administration's goal is justice for the victim and uh, of terror and also for the U.S. citizens. In other words, there should be justice for all when we talk about our, our military courts. And I, I guess my question is, um, do you believe American soldiers have a constitutional right to a fair trial? I believe that under the UCMJ, um, American soldiers, uh, sailors, airmen, uh, have uh, a number of rights uh, to a fair trial. Thank you. And does an American soldier have the right to defend themselves in a combat zone against, say, if they were to run up against a member of Al Qaeda that's a terrorist and a known terrorist, do they have the right to defend themselves? Absolutely. Okay. And um, during a military trial, is it permissible for a prosecutor, a government prosecutor, to withhold or fail to provide exculpatory evidence to the defense of an American soldier? Um, well, first of all, uh, as a former prosecutor myself, uh, I, I hesitate to comment on what somebody did in a particular trial or a decision made in a particular prosecution, and so I wouldn't want my comment to be interpreted as that. Okay, well, I know I'm that as a general matter, yeah, in general. Um, prosecutors, the government has an obligation to disclose exculpatory evidence. Okay, good. That confirms that. Okay, so in your professional opinion, would an American citizen, a soldier, be given a fair trial if evidence is withheld purposely from the defense that's exculpatory? Um, as a general matter, again, I'm not, pro I'm not commenting on a particular case. As a general matter, prosecutors have an obligation to, ex to disclose exculpatory evidence, and if they don't, there should be consequences. Good. Okay, so that gets me to a point, and that is that we have uh, had a gentleman from my home state, and I'm not determining guilt or non-guilt on this situation, but what I do want to make sure is that when our American soldiers who are away from our country defending our nation and on foreign soil who run across enemy combatants that are in that land, that they have full rights too as American citizens because they are, uh, of course, taking... Uh, away time from their country and their life and defending our country and we need to make sure that we protect them just as much as we give rights to detainees or enemy combatants and in a particular case there has been a gentleman that is first lieutenant michael behanna who um, has gone to trial has had a trial but there have been uh, very deep concerns from my congressional delegation in oklahoma and from others who believe that evidence which was, was withheld from the defense of, of him, and he uh, was accused of shooting an, an al-Qaeda member who had just killed two of his fellow soldiers in his platoon through an explosive device. And so there is some question about whether the trial was fair because not all evidence was presented in court. So we have asked for a, uh, a, the convening authority to look at the evidence and to make a ruling and just just yesterday they made a ruling that they felt the trial was fair so I guess what I'm asking is I'm going to give you this inf information and just ask that you would take it back because my goal is just to make sure that our American soldiers have every single right that they deserve to have a fair trial just as much as an enemy detainee um, uh, Congresswoman now that you mentioned the case I am aware of the case um, the Secretary of Defense has received correspondence about the case um, because the case is in the UCMJ process I am limited in terms of what I can do or what the secretary can do 
to try to influence that, nor should we try to do that. Um, but I'm happy to um, look at whatever you ask me to do. And all, all I'm asking you is to look at the process, not the outcome. Thank you. I thank the gentlelady.